Harry tosses and turns all night. After secretly reading his ex's texts and looking at Megan, I chose the wrong person. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Catherine Omini, Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend, has called Meghan Markle bossy and manipulative and claimed she would have preferred for him to wed Kate Middleton instead. The Real Housewives of D.C. star, 51, said last night while appearing on GB News that the Duke of Sussex is not the guy she previously knew. The mother of three, who was raised in London, alleges that in 2006, when she was 34 and he was 21, they had a one-month romance. The reality personality claims she was astonished to learn of some of Prince Harry's most contentious disclosures, like the Duke recounting how he lost his virginity to an unidentified older lady in a field outside a pub, even though she hasn't yet read the memoir which went on sale on Tuesday. She said, I've got absolutely no clue why he's done this, but I'm surprised. In response to a question on Harry's marriage, Catherine acknowledged, I would have wanted for him to have ended up with someone like Kate, who is fit for the job. He has chosen someone who is nearly the polar opposite, in my opinion, and I truly feel terrible for him because he's dug himself a pretty huge hole. An audience member couldn't help but grumble at Harry after hearing Catherine Omini say it all. I completely agree with her. He used to be so warm and genuine before he met his wife. He used to be a fine young man, a good soldier and a lovely grandson. Now a downtrodden and bitter has-been, always offended, always moaning. Harry was liked by the public all his life. Most of us have seen him from baby to man, naughty toddler, a mischievous little boy and a fun young man who could always talk to anybody, young and old, with compassion and likability. But all that changed when he met Megan. Has there ever been a time since being with her that he has been happy and not moaned about something and everything? No is the answer. He is like a different person now, very uncaring and just can't say anything nice. Not nice to see in anybody, let alone a member of the royal family. The reality personality also claimed that she was pleased that the Queen was unable to read Prince Harry's explosive book. In another part of the conversation, Catherine claims she disagreed with her ex-boyfriend for disclosing how many Taliban members he killed while fighting in Afghanistan. She said angrily, what is he doing? Dan suggested that he may have been badly advised by a PR team, and Catherine retorted, I mean, look who he's with. He's not the guy I met, and Megan is domineering and manipulative. Despite the fact that it has been a while, I am very certain that he is not the guy I met. Prince Harry stated that after leaving the royal family and relocating to Montecito, California, he had never been happier in a recent TV interview with Tom Bradby. The Duke's former girlfriend, nevertheless, questioned him if this was indeed the case. She went on, He claims to be happy, yet he doesn't appear to be. The saddest I've ever seen him, he appears. There is no way you can tell me Harry and Meghan's marriage equals happiness. Happiness is not losing your family, childhood friends, military ties, and country. How can someone so bitter be so ridiculously happy and content? When people attack others, as Harry is relentlessly doing, it proves that he's just very, very unhappy with his life and himself. Happy, contented people don't behave that way. Only a very unhappy person behaves in the way that he has. When you are happy and living a happy life, you don't have the time for any of this. Perhaps he realizes he's made a terrible mistake and is now lashing out at the wrong people. If you look closely at Harry's face and his eyes, he looks very sad. He is too deep to say he's not happy in a public forum. If he stays with Meghan, he will have to pretend he's happy, 
because he will never have the courage to leave her. One royal fan provides further evidence of Harry's upset. Not like I know him personally, but in every picture of him, his wife, and the other royal family members in pictures at various events, he looks so pensive and stressed, while his wife looks like the cat that swallowed the canary. She's probably thinking, my plan is coming together slowly but surely. Anyone looking at photos of William, Harry, and Catherine together will instantly see that Harry is in awe and in love with Catherine. It is clear he thought Meghan would be a good substitute, but wrong. He realizes he made a mistake, and as people do in these situations, he's turned on the ones he truly loves. Even 17-year-olds would not be doing what Harry and Meghan have done to their families, the image that everyone had that he was a grown-up man was a complete ruse. His mind seems to resist every experience that matures and teaches most people. What do you do with someone like this? Harry was perfectly within his rights to break away from the royal family and forge a new life with his wife and family. Raising money for schools and medical centers in Africa, they could be doing so much good and would receive massive support. Instead, they have chosen to bitterly attack his family, who has supported him through his troubles. Just find it very disappointing. Is someone suitable for royal life? Harry didn't want that for himself or his future wife. Meghan didn't control her and manipulated him to get him out of there. She was the exact type of woman he wanted to finally give him the freedom to leave. Like him or not, like her or not, that's what happened here. He hated being a royal. He always did. She just gave permission to leave. Returning to Harry and his girlfriend's brief love affair, after their relationship ended in 2006, Catherine claims to have had cordial relations with the prince and recalled how years later he pushed through security to see her at an event they were both attending. She went on, Both he and I continue to hold him in high regard, but I'm also really sad for him the monarchy, and the royal family as a whole. In a November 2022 interview with The Sun, Catherine said that she first met Prince Harry, who is now 38, in a Chelsea club when he was still engaged to socialite Chelsea Davy. She claims that after they met in a pub, they traveled to South Kensington's Eclipse nightclub together before going to one of his friend's homes. She claims that while there, Harry really opened up to her, as they had a smoke on the stairs outside. She adds that after returning inside, Harry prepared them all bacon sandwiches, played with his buddies, and kissed her before leaving for home. Before the romance waned, according to Catherine, they had a few more encounters. However, it wasn't until 2009, a year after she wed her second husband, from whom she is now divorcing, that they ran into one another at a polo match. He was then a really courageous, charming, tremendously witty, clever, and wonderful human being, in her words. What do you think about Harry's ex-girlfriend's very accurate comments about Meghan and his deadlocked married life? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.